Okay, so this is a simple tutorial. Uh, so, like, I got a few different versions of Blender, but uh, anything above 4, so 4.1, 4.0 works. So, brand new scene, delete everything. So, the tab is going to be up here once you download the add on. Uh, click it, modding, and then load archive. So, he recommends. Uh, loading from the boot archive so you find it in your steam ass whatever I have it here load that it'll take a second for the initial load but it's only like a few seconds uh, once that loads, you find whatever armor you want to replace. So there's the uh, ID for the SC-34 Infiltrator and a whole bunch of other ones. But once that loads, you just hit New Patch and then we leave that alone until the end. Um, so now the armor, load archive, find that and it'll just be down here so now to import the armor just hit that under unit it'll select them all right click and then import 18 meshes or whatever however many meshes there are um, so that takes a bit so I've already done that uh, here so It'll have the uh, calling boxes. You can just delete those. And you'll have this. Uh, I like to use the slim body, so I'll just go through and delete the stocky ones. Any stocky. Fuck. Um. You know, I could just do Oh my god. Delete. Delete. So now it should just be the any, which is for both body types, and the slim, which is female. Uh, once you have that, get. Uh, whatever model you want. So I have the heavy armor piece from Nier Automata. Uh, I'm going to place these three in just to show you. Uh, copy, paste, delete whatever this is. So you have these pieces here so what I or what he recommends is you select the um, model first and then the armor piece uh, control J to combine them um, so now it's one part and the reason is because in the custom properties you see the object ID which corresponds to uh, this one uh, which is what you'll need when you save it um, so you can do that uh, hit tab to do edit mode wireframe or hold Z hold or click Z to bring up whatever uh, select delete and then you'll just be left with this piece. Um, so place it however you want. It's not going to be perfect because I'm just showing you how to do it. And for the weight group, you want to make sure that you actually uh, weight it correctly. So the armor pieces are easy because it's all going to be one weight. Like that. 
see um, this piece if you see it red now I haven't gotten too far into how like all this shit works so I haven't bothered doing that so yeah you can just leave that around so next we'll do the thigh piece same process select this part first armor piece control J to combine uh, we will paint it so zero one uh, corresponds with the right thigh and zero zero on the left so we'll edit select this and assign the weight to all these and then delete the original select this and then we can move it into place about there again it's not going to be perfect because I'm just uh, showing you uh, and then the chest piece will be replacing uh, this which you can delete you can just um weight all this into zero zero so uh what i mean by that is select it again select that control j remove all this be left with that select all and then zero zero just sign the weight and uh, yeah put that there and again it's like on my other one I set it up so that part of this body is connected over here but uh, so that's it for the meshes uh, the important thing is you want the origin to be at the center so look at how the leg center over there the skirt center arm center so these pieces the center is not at the center so you can set it to the 3d cursor object set origin 3d cursor and once you've done that you can move on to the material so uh, for this pretty easy because there's only one material for all three um, plus oh shoot I forgot uh, go to the main archive hit new patch and forget about that until the end go back to the other archive new material and it'll be down here click this to expand it and you'll have the PBR color normal uh, for me the PBR I usually I just do the roughness uh, color is diffuse the normal is normal uh, once you've done that you hit save material and then import so that would bring it into here but you can then just delete these and then add this so 627 137 add that there do the same here and uh, sh here so the texture on this is going to be messed up but I mean if you do both thighs it'll be fine so you've assigned the materials to the objects and now you just select all the modded objects 
select again all the units and then if you hit save all meshes it'll automatically find uh, whatever meshes are being saved so it saved three because we did three pieces and to make sure five two six eight five five two six eight five was saved uh, 1242, 1242 was saved, and 7704 saved. Uh, once you've done that, you hit right patch, and it'll create the patch somewhere. Um, and then on another note, the materials and textures. So he wants, he says you ne it needs to be in uh, this format DX10 DDS and to do that uh, all you need to do is get you have your regular textures uh, open them up in your editor of choice I just use paint.net um, don't need to do anything here just save it as DDS And then here you'll have settings for um, the type of file or header, I guess. So BC1 DX10, uh, DX10 BC1. Just hit set OK, and it'll save it as a DDS. So I already have it here. Uh, once you do that, right patch. So it is patched, should be patched. Created two minutes ago. Open up the game and it should work. Um, sometimes it'll crash if you don't do something right. But um, for now, this is the simplest uh, replacement mod that I found. How long is this? Uh, 12 minutes, sorry, not bad. The game loads up, and you can already see that it works. Of course, I mean, you can do better. You can see the texture on the right thigh is uh, messed up because uh, I didn't replace it, but the left thigh is good. Uh, right shin guard is good, and the chest moves with the character and all. So, um, I'll show you the uh, completed one in a second. Did I? So this is the one I made. This is the, uh, it makes the cape invisible. You can download that on Nexus mods. And this is the uh, Halo 3 ODST SMG mod that I did right here. It's the same concept. Uh, load up the game. Oh, you can find the weapons here. I think the defender's down there. So. Wait for it to load. Skip, skip. Oh yeah, another one also replaced the helmet, so. Got the SMG from Halo 3. No cave. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. And, um, the Galactic War needs yeah, it just you. just works. Uh, I haven't found a fix to invisible icons, but I mean, yeah, it's not that important. 
but that's the uh, tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.